Here's the thing, like always understand this. All of you guys have got to get this drilled through your freaking head, whether you're 22 years in the business or Kelly, two years. Am I, do, do I remember that right? Two years yeah. or 22 years, I don't freaking care. If you overcome objections, the only people that are going to meet with you is the 3%, what percent? Three. Three, three. like one, two, three. 3% of the population you're calling on are actively looking for the solution that you offer. 3% are in known pain and seeking an active solution to their known pain. 3%. 97% are not looking for what you offer at the time you're calling them. Do you understand that? That means that 97% of the time, what are you going to end up with? No. 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 You're going to end up with an objection. You might end up with a clarifying question, depending on how good you get at this, but most of you are going to end up with objections. And then you have to make a choice right then, right there. I'm either going to feel felt found their objection. I'm going to overcome it, or I am going to clarify, do you have desire for the outcome I provide period? Why would, what is the, like somebody tell me what in the world, Brad, you've been in the business forever. Rebecca, you've been in the business a long time. Missy, you've been in the business for like some of you that have been in the business forever. What in the world is the difference between overcoming objections that Kelly just demonstrated versus clarifying, do you have desire for the outcome I provide? Obviously to start with, it's a difference between a third or half of the people wanting to set an appointment with you and uh, 3%, like you're saying. Brad, you just like took it all away in, in as few words as possible. It's the difference between scheduling a crap ton of appointments and scheduling very few appointments. That's the difference.